to my channel. Today's video is going to be a stationery you really need for sixth form video slash what's in my pencil case. At the start of the school year I like to film a what's in my pencil case video and what's in my school bag video. However as the year goes on I often find that certain things I never use, certain things I use every single day and I just thought I'm actually going to share with you what you really actually need for sixth form. So this is kind of mixed in with a what's in my pencil case at the end of the year video. I've just filmed a what's in my school bag at the end of the year video so if you want to check that out and see what actually was in my school bag at the end of year 13 then you can check that out, the link will be in the description. But for now I'm going to show you what's actually in my pencil case at the end of year 13. So first of all the actual pencil case itself is this turquoise tealy coloured crushed velvet pencil case it's actually a makeup bag from wilco's and it was like six pounds i think uh, you can check out my stationery haul from last year and you'll be able to see where i got it from and how much it was um it's a gorgeous color but as you can see i got a stain on the front which is kind of gross but anyways this pencil case has lasted me the entire year other than the stain it has not got damaged it's not got ruined it looks basically brand new and so I'm really happy with that. First of all, obviously a ruler. The ones that fold in half are the best ones in my opinion. Fit them in a small pencil case, no hassle. Okay, this Staedtler pen. Um, this is a Staedtler Tri Plus Color Black Felt Tip Pen. This is how, how thick the nib is. We then have my glue stick and of course it's just a regular Pritt stick. We then have a pink highlighter of course. I mainly used bright pink neon pink highlighter a yellow highlighter and then i often used a purple one as well which is in here somewhere i either used the little lilac lavendery colored one which was one of the stabilo boss ones or these little tiny ones thin scissors of course and these are the crayola kids scissors i've got these in pink and i've got them in purple as well and i feel like every single person has this pen like Find me someone who doesn't have this pen. It's the Bic Four Colours pen where you've got pink, purple, blue and green. And I literally swear everyone has this pen. Like, everyone's pens like this would get mixed up because we all had the same. Following along the same theme, we've got this Bic pen as well, which is the shiny one. Again, I feel like everyone has this with the uh, blue, green, black and red. Okay, we then have a mint green highlighter. We've got a couple of fine liners. The black one, and this is the Bic Intensity a uh, fine liner and then another one in pink and then this is a Staedtler Tri Plus fine liner so this is the same as like felt up I showed you but a fine liner version and it is really really fine we then have a helix whiteboard pen we were given these for free by the school because we had uh, whiteboards on the back of our school planners so we use these quite a lot in class especially in sociology I then have half a ruler and this ruler did actually break I want to say this might have been a helix one as well um, and it had like the Eiffel Tower on the other side and some little like drawings on the other side but yeah it broke so I've got half of it in my pencil case but like I say rulers I feel like are really really useful and important as you can see pencils are really really useful um i have six pencils in my pencil case at one time mainly because people always want to use your pencils they always want to borrow them um so i've got one from i it says eileen shonak on it and i got this from the isle of sky when we went to this little island this lady gave us them for free and then i've got three of the staedtler black and yellow classic ones with the little rubber on the top um most of the rubbers on these pencils are all worn out because i use them like all the time um but yeah these ones are probably the best pencils. I would 100% recommend these kind of pencils. And then have this black and grey striped one. I don't know where this is from, but I have this. Finally for pencils, I have this really, really cute pencil, which is pink and it has llama unicorns on it. Swans, clouds, rainbows. Anything cute you can think of is probably on this pencil. Finally for pens, this is my favourite pen of all time. I use these pens all the time, as you can see basically nearly run out i've gone through probably like 50 of these in the past year the final pen in my pants case was um an organ donation pen because we were given these from school when we had this like presentation thing about organ donation so we were all given these for free and by the end of the year like everyone was using the same uh pen right last things in my pencil case are just a few little bits and bobs and whiteboard rubbers this is a pencil sharpener I have had for literally years. I think I've had this since primary school as well. And it's a Mayped ruler. Ruler? It's not a ruler. Sharpener. I've had this sharpener since primary school. <laughs> 
bit of plastic which has popped off uh, one of my pens because obviously I like to fiddle with my pens and it's just snapped off. Part of my ruler from when it broke. And then a little, do you call these bulldog clips? I think they're called bulldog clips, but I'm not 100% sure. These were from clipping my revision cards together and these are so useful. That is my empty pencil case. I've got to say it's like satiny inside. Oh my gosh, I love this pencil case so much. Like I say, it is a makeup bag, but it did its job very, very well. Now moving on to the next part of this video, which is gonna be my kind of exam revision slash just essential things that I think you need for year 13, but are also predominantly beneficial for revision and your A-level exams. Um, obviously you can also use these ideas for GCSEs as well, I'm sure they'll apply very similarly. Um, but yeah, first of all we have a notebook. Now this looks like a regular notebook, it is a regular notebook. Um, my brother Ryan actually bought me this for Christmas I think. I dedicated this notebook to sociology and it got me through my sociology A-level exam. I cannot lie to you. If I hadn't have revised with this notebook, I don't know how I would have coped. And it sounds stupid, but honestly, it really helped me because I had all my notes in one place and I knew, wouldn't, I, knew I wouldn't lose them if they were all in this notebook. Yeah, I just sectioned it off. I printed off the advanced information that we were given um, by the exam board, printed off for each section, and then just worked through it and yeah, I wrote down sort of how many uh, for and against you need for each essay and then wrote loads of facts like names of what people said and highlighted in pink their names and then highlighted the uh, disadvantages of what they said in yellow and yeah, basically just did that throughout for every single topic and every single thing like it's kind of crazy just full to the brim of stuff. So basically I would really recommend having a notebook that is fully dedicated to maybe each subject or your more essay, very content based, um, content filled, sorry, uh, subjects for, such as sociology, psychology, RS, I don't know, something like that. Next, now I've not actually ever seen anyone use this as a technique um, and I don't want to make this into a revision techniques video because maybe I'll do a video on that like at some other point but see this is an A3 sketch pad it's for art it's for art and I have done a little bit of art in here before so I can find it I started doing a wicked themed uh, piece of art ages ago but anyways I came across this and I just really really wanted to make my notes really big so they're easy to see also, I'm quite a visual learner, so I found that I wanted to draw pictures to try and remember everything. So, I used this A3 paper to make big pictures for each subject, uh, for each topic, and literally tiny, tiny topics. I would make massive on this A3 paper and draw little pictures for each sentence to try and remember it without words, if that makes sense. And I found this really, really helpful. So I would personally recommend getting yourself some art sketch paper, some A3 paper of any kind, and just drawing and writing your notes really big and summarized on A3 paper. I then would recommend having a folder like this. I, don't, I feel like this was originally from Wilco's a long, long time ago, but again, I've had this since I was like six. <laughs> and it's got a big compartment in the front and then the rest is split into tiny, tiny compartments. And as you can see in the front, I've got a little board game that I made. I'm not gonna talk about that in today's video, probably come to that in another video. But um, yeah, basically, I just think it's really, really useful to have all these compartments in a folder like this and then keep all your subjects separated. Um, and you can just literally pop all the revision notes, revision cards and everything you've made into here so that everything of your revision is in this one folder and you don't lose it all. Okay, we're nearly there guys. I'm sorry, I feel like I've been talking quite a lot, but I'm trying to get through it as quick as I can for you all. Next two things I'd recommend, these are both from Wilco's, are paper clips for your revision cards and bulldog clips for revision cards. How cute are these little jars as well? Like even if you don't end up using them. How cute these little jars, I love them to pieces. <laughs> I found that using bulldog clips on my revision cards, as you can see, um, really kept them together. I could separate them into sections and topics. I used paper clips and bulldog clips more than I ever have throughout my entire school life, just during this like revision time for A-levels. Like I used them so much every single day. Final things um, I would say are post-it notes, obviously regular sort of colors you can get, I know one of my best friends, Olivia, uses revision cards all the time for her revision um, and she found those useful. But I also, my mum got me these really, really cute 
post-it notes, look at them. And I use these to section my work off and my revision off into little sections and I could just indicate where they were um, using these. And they have mermaids, octopus, fish, starfish, all stuff like that on them and they're just adorable. And like I say, these are from the works. Final thing, I'm sure you know this, clear pencil case. This one's from WH Smiths, £1.49. As you can see, I didn't use it this year. I completely forgot about it and then found it in my drawer after exams, so that was useful. But I had loads of clear pencil cases from throughout the years that I'd bought um, from like Wilco. You can get them from literally any supermarket. And yeah, of course you need these for your exams, so these are essential to have and you might as well buy them earlier on so you don't have to get them literally just for the exams and you don't want to panic about it or anything. That is everything for today's video. I hope you found this useful and you found out what you actually need for sick form and just for exams especially. Um, and I really hope to see you again soon. Please watch my What's in My School Bag video um, if you haven't already. And I'm going to be doing so many back to school videos. Even though I'm going to uni in September, I will be doing so many back to school videos as usual because they are some of my favourite videos to film. And I will see you again very, very soon. Lots of love. Sparkle Rewind. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.